everyone and welcome back to Fratini's channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick flip through of my late, well one of my latest colouring books um, that I bought from um, the local supermarket actually um, a couple of days ago. Um, this is called Therapeutic, Creative and Relaxing, Relax with Art Colouring for Adults. Um, this is issue 55. Um, obviously, this is the first issue that I've ever, ever purchased. Um, it does retail at 2 99 um, That's in Great British Pound. So this is pretty, pretty cheap. Um, you know, it's relatively cheap, cheap enough to pick up and put in your trolley when you're doing your grocery shopping. And there's 24 relaxing designs. Now, this is all based on, on summer, I think. Um, obviously because it is summer um, so we can see already from the, one of the pictures it's a boy and a girl on the beach um, fish and shell hunting by the looks of it so let's have a quick look through the book now I believe these are single-sided designs yes they are okay so it tells us here that the, first, the next one is going on sale on the 18th of July um, hopefully you can see okay let me just put a little bit of extra light on okay all right then so this is relax with art in the hustle and bustle of modern life isn't it nice to find your own space just to do just to relax these exquisite art therapy patterns are handcrafted to allow you access your inner creativity, balance your physical, spiritual and emotional well-being. There are no words, rules or guidelines, just you, your creativity and the paper. Go create. So that is the little um, introduction there on the inside front cover. Um, this is here where the little other pictures that people have sent in. Um, on the Facebook group it looks like so let's have a quick look at the designs then so first of all this is quite nice actually this is um, like a fan very oriental so I think this would look nice the paper's quite thick as well so you know I think you would be able to get away with with markers possibly as long as you used a page protector um, they are quite bold lines as well so I think you could make these pictures look really vibrant so this is a fan again it is single-sided um so this is the picture of what's on the front cover this is the boy and the girl hopefully you can see this okay let me see if i can just zoom you in just a tad there we go um so this is a picture of the boy and the girl um on the beach um shell and fish hunting maybe and there's some little beach huts there um on the shore this one we have looks like a garden, like a garden full of fruit. Um, we have some strawberries at the bottom here. We have some honey. We've got someone that's made some strawberry jam, which is homemade. Some organic jam, some marmalade, um, some apples in a basket. Very nice picture. This could be very, very colourful. This would be a, a good one to colour. Looking forward to that one. This one we've got of a lady um, in the city, it looks like, um, in the hustle and bustle of it all, trying to get away from it all. Um, and she's taking a stroll into the um, into the park, maybe, and leaving the city behind her. Here we have two dogs. Um, look like they're in the garden. There's a garden gate. There's the wall to a house, maybe. And this is the garden path, it looks like. And they're sitting there quite happy. Maybe their owner's got some treats in their hands, so they're sitting nicely waiting for someone to give them some treats. So there's two little dogs. I'm not sure, are they beagles? Do you think they look like beagles? Or, or a spaniel of some kind because of their ears? I'm not sure. Um, right, here we have some flowers. We have the butterflies. We've got some ladybirds. This will be a very colourful one to... To colour i'm guessing these are like daisies or are they sunflowers even i'm not sure here we have a lighthouse one of my favorite things of all um i do really like diamond painting houses at uh, lighthouses and um this will be the first time that i've colored one 
so this will be a fun so we got like the lighthouse you've got a little boat house and a boat here on in the harbour and there's a few boats sailing around over there and i'm not sure what this is here maybe those are the cliffs i'm not sure either way i think it will look pretty this one we have looks like a little garden set up so this is the house and we're on like the patio and we've got like a, a teapot we've got some tea some milk um some cake um looks like some juice of some kind and all the the greenery and all the forest and all the park behind the house right here we have um some lady um in a yoga pose um namaste um looking very very serene and relaxed this one is of a car and a caravan looks like they're driving down the country lanes um, on their way to a campsite to have a, a sunny weekend away this one is of a few birds in the trees so we've got two birds here got lots of flowers we've got a little mouse here in the bottom left corner and what else did i see and there's a little dragonfly i think that is at the top there i'm not sure if you can actually see that but there is a like it looks like a little dragonfly so here we have a cat this is looks like it'll be a very colorful cat whether it's a real cat or if it's a um, an ornament of some kind in a garden um, i'm guessing that you could make this very very colorful if you wish to here we have like a mandala type of picture um, with just some flowers, very symmetrical. And the same again here, we look like we have a bit of a frame and some flowers in the middle and a couple of butterflies. Another pretty one. This one is of a young girl riding her bicycle um, down the path so, uh, in between some houses. So we have the flowers, we have the trees, we have like a little cobbled path and this girl is pushing her bike. This one is just um, a pattern and um, very symmetrical. So you could have fun with this with some really bright and vibrant colours. This one is, this one looks like another picture of some children on the beach. Um, this girl here. And then we've got another boy here with a, I think it's a boy with a backpack. And there's another child here sitting on top of what, a sand dune of some kind. Um, but it looks like they're surrounded by the ocean. We've got the boat, the boat there. We've got land over here with a couple of houses and the cliffs and the sun. Maybe they're just sitting and watching the sun go down because there's the sun there. It looks like it's setting. This one, oh, this is quite a busy looking picture. So we got, so we've got a bridge, a very, um, very detailed bridge. We have some some buildings behind it. Looks like we have another wooden bridge going across a stream. This one is again looks like maybe this is like a like a, a river as well. We've got some ducks or swans, um, a couple of rowing boats. And we've got some birds in the sky and we've got this building with some stairs leading up. So maybe this is just a bit of a, a bit of a, a water scene like on the, uh, on a, on a lake, not a lake, a river. Um, this one is of some flowers. We've got some flowers here in some vases and we've got the window opening here so i suppose this is left blank so you could actually put something beyond the window so you're looking out at something in the window not that i'm creative enough to do that but if you was so inclined you could actually do that and create something beyond the window this is of some fish very colorful fish we have lots of fish and we have some coral and the little tiny fish in the background um this is of a few birds i don't know if these are like eagles or a falcon of some kind and with some very decorative bordering around the sides 
this one is another pattern which again would be, look very pretty if you colored it in some really bright and vibrant colors and lastly we have this one looks like a leopard just chilling out on the branch of a tree stalking its prey that one is a very busy picture actually um, again I think you could make that look very very colorful if you wanted to and that is it for this book um, you are able to to get a subscription to this um, it's 2 dollars each but it says that you can order 13 issues for only £29.90 um, I don't know if that's really worth it or not when you can buy them for 2 dollars anyway because the thing is with subscription magazines although it's that they're, they're decent offers I actually think sometimes that you get the books and they're not really to your taste so you feel like you're never going to colour anything out of the book um, so it just sits there in your collection and just gathering dust basically so I've actually stopped my subscriptions for my colouring books and I just go to the supermarkets when I see them in there and if I like the look of them then I'll pick them up so so I think really for, for $2.99 this is um, pretty pretty good value for money um there is one on the back cover here it says on sale now this is relax with art holiday special magical mandalas a coloring journey i have actually picked this book up as well so i'll do a separate video of that um, just to show you the different designs in the mandalas so that is relax with art coloring for adults i hope you have enjoyed this quick flip through if you have please do give it a thumbs up and please comment like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and also click the little bell that way you'll get notified next time i upload a video so take care thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all next time